power button fix front USB expansion card replacement. The tools we're going to need are your standard toolkit and a short handle. Phillips head and a 2.5 millimeter hex is all we're going to need for the bits. Go ahead and begin by flipping down the Mac. If you find this video useful as a follow along guide, hit like and subscribe. Hitting like will really help boost the video's discovery and help our channel grow so we can bring you more wonderful content. Just like the original Mac Pro Cheese Creator, we have a handle right here that we can release and that will unlock the side panel that you can then lift up, lift up and move over to the side. This model has two latches that you can push out like this and pull out the tray that holds the CPU uh, and the memory. Uh, some models have two CPUs, so you'll see two heat sinks. Next, let's go ahead and pull out the uh, hard drive trays. They just come right out when you pull them out off the rails. Remove the two screws that are securing uh, the uh, fan. These are two Phillips head screws. With those removed, you can gently pull up on the fan and then remove it just like so. You can see it connects to the logic board. Now, let's go ahead and remove this uh, uh, enclosure for the uh, CPU and memory bay. It's attached with the six Phillips head screws to the logic board. And then uh, when we remove those, We'll fast forward here. Uh, we have the uh, 2.5 uh, millimeter hex that removes uh, with a short screwdriver that removes the five stubs right there. This part is a little tricky. We need to pull these fans, uh, this from the bottom and from the top. You need to kind of unclip them and pull them inwards um, and on both sides uh, like you see here. Now, they are actually pushed so far in that they're blocking this case from coming out. So we need to pull, pull them out a little bit, probably about half an inch, maybe even a quarter of an inch. Once they're pulled in, go ahead and disconnect these three connections. Um, gently disconnect that. You don't want to break those connectors. And now you can pull this case up. If we didn't push the fans in, we wouldn't be able to pull this out. Locate the expansion card, go ahead and pinch the cables on the card side and pull the cable out. Uh, go ahead and uh, untuck that little power button from the board. And now you can go ahead and remove the five Phillips head screws. Two in the top, one in the uh, uh, bottom, and another two in the bottom there. For a total of five screws, with that loose, you can go ahead and remove the card Reassembly A1289. Place the USB expansion card into its orientation. Go ahead and secure it with the five Phillips head screws. With the five screws secure, go ahead and tuck in that power button. Make sure not to forget that. And uh, clip in the uh, bridge cable to the logic board. Now we can put back the uh, casing for the uh, CPU and the memory. Go ahead and slide it in. Uh, once you slide it in and it's positioned and feels like firm and right, go ahead and reconnect the three cables that you see uh, here that are part of that uh, case assembly. And then go ahead and push in the fans once you push in each fan back into its uh, orientation, uh, it will be locked in and you won't be able to pull this out until you remove them. Go ahead and uh, put back the uh, six Phillips head screws and then the uh, five 2.5 millimeter hex studs. Now clip back the fan. Now go ahead and place back two Phillips head screws. Um, once that's in, go ahead and put back the hard drive brackets. Those slide right in. 
now the uh, CPU and memory tray you could just slide that right in and then uh, clip in those two clips now we can go ahead and put back the uh, panel that secures the Mac Pro I'll apply some pressure and close the clip stand the unit up and we're done <laughs>